What's going on YouTube? Welcome to episode 138 of the USS Enterprise D tutorial. I'm Zero Elite and I just want to thank you very much for tuning in today's episode. If you haven't, please don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button helping me and supporting the channel. I can't thank you enough for that. And uh, don't forget to check out the Discord. I'll have a link in the description below. Right now I'm doing a poll on my next ship build. So if you want to get involved with that, be sure to uh, join the Discord and click on next ship build poll. I've accumulated that list based off my top requests on Minecraft. Uh, but let's go ahead and jump right into today's episode today. we got somewhat of a shorter one, only about 13 minutes. Uh, but we're going to be um, working on our... Uh, um, the cargo room and I'm really uh, excited to get into this today so right now we're in the neck of the ship we're on the same deck level where our battle bridge is so we already started work on this a little bit here where we filled in this back wall or at least on the sides uh, going back and we're just really going to be continuing that on fleshing out the rest of this room Now we've got a little bit of extra space here. Um, now I want to make a, a nice square room because if you look at the screenshots or if you pull up screenshots of the cargo room on the Enterprise D, it was basically like a square room that wasn't, that didn't have any curvature to the room or anything. So we basically don't need all this extra space that we have to work with here. That's why I'm building this back wall here off of the doorway, off of the white terracotta. And this really, it's not a big deal. You can totally get away with doing stuff like this. Um, if you don't have to use that space or if you don't need it, you don't need to change up your build to make uh, every single inch of the ship uh, mesh in with it. And this will also be great for those of you that maybe want to add like an extra room in the back for like a restroom or break room, whatever you want to do. This is right up your guys' alley so you'll have a little bit of extra space on the front end of the neck on either side of the battle bridge where you'll be able to add in an additional room if that's what you want to do. If anything, that's going to be one of the great things about this entire build so far is that the Enterprise D is going to be very customizable. You'll have the room to customize it. You'll have the room to add in extra stuff if that's what you want to do. Way more so than some of my builds that we've done in the past. All right, so now we've got our back wall in place here. We're going to be building a side wall here in just a moment going off the back side here of our turbo lift. I think what I might ultimately end up doing here even is the, the wall that we just added on the left, I might even move that back by one. This way we have that full archway for the white terracotta. Now, you can probably figure out at this point that we're going to be dividing up our cargo room, so we'll actually have two instead of the one. Now, um, I could be wrong, but... So, I was actually a little bit confused when I was working on this. I looked into it as much as I could, but basically, and this is how I got confused, that from what I can see, the Enterprise D had three shuttle bays. It had the primary, secondary, and tertiary. But what I noticed um, on some of the episodes of TNG that the cargo room had a cargo um, had a cargo doorway, and um, that's something that kind of stumped me a little bit. And I was thinking, like, okay, like, well, um, did the Enterprise D really have three uh, shuttle bays, or was one of those shuttle bays actually the cargo room? So what I ended up doing was I just kind of settled, like, well, you know what? I've already got the three car or three shuttle bays. I'm just going to do the separate cargo rooms. So what we're ultimately going to end up doing is we're going to be making a couple of extra doorways on the back side of the neck that weren't there before. Well, actually, we'll just be adding two. Um, 
because this is something I really wanted to make this room match the show as much as I possibly could. And I, I've tried to do this with the whole ship so far, you know, just try to make it match up as best as I can. I've actually, uh, considering what I've done with the other cargo rooms in the past, I think that this is the best one that I've done so far. I'm actually really, really happy with how this room has come out. Um, because the other cargo rooms that I've done, I, I don't even know if I necessarily qualify them as full-on cargo rooms. Because like the one with the Cerritos, I had a lot, very limited space to work with as far as uh, the uh, the area to, to build that room in. It wasn't even the full size. It ended up almost looking nothing like it because of the room that I had. And then the same thing in my Constitution class at the area that I built the cargo room in. It didn't look all that great. Now these will be something. These will be things that I will address uh, when we come back when we build the 1701A 1.1 refit. That's going to be one of the rooms that I want to really uh, redo and really just try to nail it if I can. Um, but these were again things I was thinking about when I built out this cargo room. I was like, okay, well, you know, this was one of the rooms I really didn't quite nail it before. So this is a great opportunity to kind of correct that. Um, so really the main things that I want to focus on here is having a nice big room to where you can have your um, entry point for cargo, a shuttle bay door, um, or yeah, a, a shuttle craft door so that uh, craft could come in here for uh, those uh, items that aren't being transported. But then also a cargo transport um, pad so you can just have you know goods transported up to the ship and then a storage area in the dead center that was kind of my main focus here all right now we're working on the other backside wall but this time going on the back side of the rear end of the neck Trying to add in as many sea lanterns as I can because it is going to be a little bit dark. Um, I'll make sure that when I go to upload this episode that I do it in high resolution so this way it's not um, super dark. But I've been trying to make a conscious point to do that because I know that sometimes it can get a little bit dark when we're uh, working on a room at the start. Um, so I try to add in as many sea lanterns as I possibly can. And this room doesn't look like much right now. But I promise you, by the time it's done, um, at least the shape anyway, you'll get more, you'll get way more of um, what I'm going for here. Because even the, the, the ceiling, we, we don't even, we honestly don't even need all this ceiling space because the cargo room, it's not, it's honestly, it's not a very big room on the Enterprise D. I just wanted to at least have two entry points because it's such a large ship. Um, and you could even make the argument like, well, maybe the Galaxy class had multiple areas, which could very well be true. Um, that's something I even toyed with in all honesty. But then I was just kind of thinking about it. I'm like, well, you know, where am I going to put this thing where I can have these doorways coming in? And it just kind of made sense that you know, under my secondary and tertiary shuttle bays is the place to put it so that this way it's all kind of together in one place. It feels a lot more organized. Um, I think it'll work a lot better. And you see even on the left and right side here, we'll have a little bit of extra space. Don't even worry about closing in the windows. Leave those windows there because that's just going to add a little bit more flavor to the outside when you're looking in. It'll look like there's a room in here. You can, If you really want to, you can even facade out a, a room on the other side of this wall just to give it a little bit more detail. I'm not going to be doing that for the tutorial, but that's something that I've kind of messed with a little bit in the past here and there. Because again, you know, my main focus at this point is to build a square room and not be um, impeded by the space that I have to work with. The only problem that we'll have is the very, very back end of the neck at the, the top 
well, there will be somewhat of a slight curve, but we'll we'll uh, address that as uh, this part of the bill goes on. So I think this will end up being like a two or three parter um, because we have to get the shape of the room set. Then we're going to detail it and then we're going to build we'll work on the uh, cargo doorways. That'll be pretty cool. Uh, one of the thing that we'll be doing later on, that won't be right now, but it'll be um, probably in the next couple of weeks, we'll be actually building doorways for all of our um, the cargo rooms as well as the shuttle bays. So those of you that want to close up your ship and just have one way to get into it, you'll be able to do that. I'll show you how to close the ship up where it looks nice and clean. If you want to leave them open, you can honestly do that too because... Um, I've seen the ship w with both. I've seen it with the, the doors open and I've seen it with a close. It looks great either way. So you can honestly, you can get away with it. But we will be adding in um, a point on the neck to get, that will be our primary way to get inside the ship once I close up the shuttle bays. Yeah, see that's what I'm talking about right here, how it has that arch in the front there at the top we'll have to address that a little bit but we'll we'll take care of that we also have to fill in our ceiling too Hey, you can see I'm just going down one row from um, the floor for the, the shuttle bay. And I'm honestly, I'm not even worried about closing in those windows there. Some of these windows are just going to be straight facades where you can't see anything out of them. But I still want them to be there on the outside of the ship. Because that's going to be one of the things with the Enterprise D. Those windows are going to help to sell the scale of the ship on the outside. Because that's going to be, when this thing is done, hopefully... The Enterprise D will look a lot larger than it actually is. And it will be a combination of having all those windows and the placement that we have them in, as well as some of these large rooms. It's really going to make the ship feel massive. And that's really the whole goal, of trying to make it feel like a full-scale Galaxy class, even though it's only a half-scale Galaxy class. All right, so we've got our base template for the right side. Let's do the left side now. We just have to get in the ceiling. And then I think we'll be about done for today. I didn't want to have too many really long episodes. That's why I'm splitting this up just a little bit. Um, then when we come back in the next one, like I said, we'll start working on some of that detailing. I actually think in the next episode, um, it'll be a combination of the... Uh, cargo room and then also the shuttle bay control room for um, the secondary and tertiary uh, shuttle bay. But yeah, we're just going to fill this in on the ceiling going all the way back. And then that's going to wrap us up for today. We are rocking and rolling. We're starting to get more of this thing done on the interior. Still have a ways to go, but you know what? That's okay. We're working on this thing until I'm done with it. But I think that's going to end up wrapping us up here. Um, like I said, uh, I was talking a little bit about in last episode. I've got some pretty cool stuff coming up in the future. I'm probably going to be doing some videos on Prehistoric Kingdom. That's going to be a thing. I'm looking forward to that. If that's something that you want to see, be sure to drop a comment below. Let me know if that's a, a video series you'd like to see me do. I'll be doing tutorials on that and playthroughs. I think that'll be a lot of fun. And, um, of course, we've got uh, our community build that's going to be coming up, or the community request build, uh, based off top of the requests on my YouTube, which is now on Discord. Uh, so if you want to get involved in that poll and just suggestions in general, you need to make sure that you join the Discord because going forward, I'm not taking any more suggestions off my YouTube because... I want all my suggestions in one place so everybody can see them. It'll be a lot easier for me to gauge 
um, my request now. And that's why I'm, my main reason why I'm doing them on the Discord. So it's not that I'm not taking a request. I still am. It's just on the Discord now. Anyway, I think that's going to wrap us up today. We're at a pretty good spot where we can stop. We've got our uh, room, the general shape of it in place. Now we're just going to have to clean it up in the next one. But I think that'll do it today. I just want to thank you all again for tuning in today's episode. I hope everybody has a happy and safe week. Uh, be sure to hit that like and subscribe button, help me in supporting the channel. And of course, you can always catch my new Minecraft episodes dropping Mondays, Wednesdays, Fridays, and Saturdays. Uh, if you have any questions regarding today's episode, be sure to drop a comment below. But yeah, I think that's going to do it. I hope everybody has a happy and safe week. And uh, of course, what did you make in Minecraft today? Let me know in the comments section.